Hello there, it's Peter here again from Writer's Life and coming up today, how to be business minded. Many writers don't see themselves as business people, but that's a mistake. Whether you are a freelance writer or a fiction writer, your work is your business and being business savvy and professional in your approach to it can help you become more motivated, organized and ultimately more successful. So what are some great tips to help writers get focused and be more business minded when it comes to their writing? Here are some things to remember. First, think about the consumer. For writers, your consumer is not only the reader, but also potential agents and publishers out there too. Do your research, learn what they want, plan how you'll communicate with them, think about what you can offer them that no one else can, and then show them that. And next, make professional contacts. In the business world, who we know can be incredibly valuable. Build your business contacts however you can. Join writing groups, interact with bloggers, follow other authors. You never know when a business contact might come in handy. And next, enlist services. Any good business person knows their strengths and weaknesses. You might be a great writer, but that doesn't necessarily mean you are also a great editor, cover designer and so on. Build your business and improve your product by enlisting help from other professionals. And next, create deadlines and timelines. If you're business minded, you need a business plan. Creating timelines, goals, deadlines and becoming confident of where you are now and where you hope to be in X amount of time will give you a focus and help you to stay on track and ultimately reach and exceed your targets. And next, manage a budget. When it comes to professional writing, it's essential to have a good grasp on your finances and also manage your writing budget. If you can, setting aside money to pay for services will help you to promote your work. And don't forget that your time is worth money too and remember to factor that in. Treat writing like the job that it is is next. Remember, if you want to get serious about your writing, you need to treat it as a job. Get into a writing routine. Don't show up late and bring your A game every time. And next, take control and create a brand. The beautiful thing about writing is that you are your own boss. In being so, however, you need to take control. Make decisions about your book. Make it your mission to succeed. If things don't work out, assess the reason why. Adjust and try again. Also, think of your writing as a brand. You, the author, and your work are one package. And you need to think about how you can sell your writing brand or, at the very least, get it noticed. Ultimately, you are the only person who can make this business succeed or fail. Seeing your writing as a business helps writers to take themselves more seriously. Writing has the potential to bring you money, publicity and success. If you want to make your writing something you can be proud of, perhaps it is time to start being more business minded in your approach. Use these tips to help you and see how being business savvy about your writing can lead to great things. And don't forget, if you're struggling to write or finish your book, our free writer's toolkit can help with it. You'll learn how to overcome procrastination, get organized, stay focused, find time to write, and finally get your book 
published. To get access now while it's still available, simply go to writerslife.org forward slash toolkit. That's writerslife.org forward slash toolkit. That's it for now. Be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more. I'm Peter and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.